Lindsay, I make checklists for almost every part of my life. And I've been thinking about leadership a lot lately, and I've been thinking about making a leadership checklist. What do you think? That's a really bad idea, Caleb. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so let me tell you why, right? I totally understand that you want to make checklists. We all like to make checklists because it feels really good when you can check something off, right? Because you accomplish it. Um, there's days I actually write things down that I already did just so I can scratch them off the <laughs> list. Um, but when it comes to leadership, what happens is by making that checklist, you really lose that authenticity of what you're really trying to get. To, to do with that with that skill set. So if you put on your list, I'm going to be great at communication. And so you take a class and, and you go out and you get these skills and so you check off. But in that communication, you're not actively engaged in listening in the person that you're, you're talking to. Um, you know, you're not making eye contact. All those other little things that aren't just checkbox things, you completely kill the relationship and the communication failed anyway. So the checklist doesn't work. That's really interesting. And you're probably one of the most authentic people that I know. Um, it's obviously really important to you. Why is authenticity so important to you? Well, I think there's there's probably a lot of things I could say about that, but really the biggest thing is who you are actually really matters in the way you interact with other people. So by not being authentic, by putting on a hat and being someone else, you lose what makes you so unique and special that people want to connect with, and suddenly it makes it really hard for them to connect with you because they don't really know who you are. They can't tell because it's not real. And they can smell it on you too, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. I think when you're, when you're pretending to be someone else, it's just off-putting, right? Like yeah, you're almost over the top. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's totally true. So I think if we really focus on this idea of being true to you and what you're about, it makes it so much easier to connect with someone else because they can identify with the real you. So I was reading your latest blog post and you were talking a lot about that, you know, being authentic and, you know, what's important to you. And you talk a little bit about your why. Talk, talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a great, great question. So on, on your why, it's being authentic, right, is sort of driven by your why. And so my why personally is to be able to be out in the world and, and identifying the potential of all the people around me and helping them identify their potential so that they can be progressing and putting things out into the world. So that, that to me is, is a part of why I get up in the morning. So it's, you know, why, why do I work with my kids? Because I want my kids to be the next generation of the people encouraging other people to do great things. Um, and so that, for me, is my why, and it sort of leads back to that authenticity of, like, if I know that about myself, all the decisions that I make, all the ways I interact with people are all based on that, are all based on that love of, of potential. And that, well, that's a super hard question to ask yourself. How did you come to that realization that that's what got you out of bed in the morning? Yeah, so it's, it's a process, right? You guys are not going to be able to wake up tomorrow and say, oh my gosh, I know exactly why I was put on this earth. In fact, my why has probably changed 15 times since I even started having the conversations. Uh, but really a good way to start is by taking some assessments. Um, there's some free assessments out there. You can take the VIA survey. Um, you can, there's some low-cost assessment. Gallup Strength Finders is one um, that sort of gives you a profile of things that drive your decision-making process, who you are, what you're about. And it's not going to define you, right? You're not going to get a report that tells you this is exactly who you are, um, which is sort of creepy. Uh, but instead, it starts the conversation for you internally to say, oh, yeah, that's really true. I didn't recognize that I could, um, you know, leverage the fact that one of my strengths is uh, futuristic, right? And so then that becomes like, oh, at my core, I'm futuristic. Okay, how does that change how I interact with people? How does that change the, the topics and the tasks that I try and go out and do? So those are good stuff starting places to find your why. Now, when you took your assessment, did it also help you start to understand a little bit about the people that you work with and the people that you interact with and what matters to them? Oh my gosh, it was huge. So it's great to do the self-assessment and to know yourself, but even more so, if the people around you have taken those assessments and you can understand things about them and the way they learn, the way they communicate, the way they think, Oh my gosh, I mean, it, it's a complete game changer for you as a leader to be able to interact with the people that you are intending to lead and know what they're about and to align your values because we don't have to have the same values, right? We don't have to have the exact same beliefs. But if we can find something that's similar across all of our different beliefs, holy cow, watch out. That's, that's wow. a recipe for success. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. We're running out of time a little bit. Uh, do you sure. have anything else you want to leave? Sure. I, I think it really just comes back to um, this idea of inspired authenticity. Some of you may be thinking, what does that even mean? The inspired part means that when you are authentic and you are the real you and you share that with the world, you inspire everyone else to do the same and really incredible things happen. I've seen it. I know it's true. So I just invite you uh, to explore that. That's really interesting. Well, hey, thank you, Lindsay, for joining me today. And thank you for listening.
Uh, make sure to stay tuned in for future human intelligence segments.